Hello guys, this is the Geek Android Heads, and I'm going to do a review on the iPod 5th generation. I'm going to talk about specs, build quality, and personal preference. So, let's get into it. This iPod 5th generation comes in 32, 64, and 16. The height is 4.886 inches, 123.4 millimeters, the width 2.31 inches, 58.6 millimeters, depth 0 0.24 inches, 6.1 millimeters, weight 3.03, ah, oh god, sorry guys, 3.04 ounces, 86 grams, and the color that the 16 version, that's what we have, that's what we have right here, um, is gray, but when you get the 32, 64, versions you come with gray white blue pink yellow and red the wireless it, it has bluetooth 4.0 and it also supports nike plus it's built into the uh, ipod the display is four inches a uh, widescreen display with multi-touch IPS technology uh, retina display 1136 by 640 pixel resolution at 326 pixels per inch um, fingerprint uh, resistant it's uh, tab coding that the iPod 5th generation comes with and for 32 and the 64 cameras, 5 megapixel eyesight camera, autofocus tap to focus the video or still pictures, um, LED flash, uh, face detection, panorama, and HD video recording 1080p up to 30 frames per second. Now for, oh wait, for the FaceTime HD camera with a 1.2 megapixel video uh, photos and HD uh, videos 720p up to 30 frames per or, sorry 30 frames per second now there's something different when it comes to the 16 version you have no rear eyesight camera you have a FaceTime HD camera with only 1.2 megapixel photos and HD video 720p up to 30 frames per second does have face detection and also tap to control uh, for video and for stills. Photos are sorry guys. Uh, photo and video geo tagging over Wi-Fi. That is for that is it for specs. Personal preference. I think it's not worth it to get the 32 and the 64. It's might as well just save your money because the only thing that's really different is the 5 megapixel camera, and that is it. The thickness is the same, the width is the same, the same has the same um, same display. It's not really much different except for the 5 megapixel camera and the colors, which you guys can choose um d uh build quality the build quality of course it's really really light and really thin i don't know it picks up um fingerprints uh the screen doesn't as much but it's pretty well built you're talking about apple they they have really good built cell phones, good iPods. Though you use a volume marker on the left side and on the right side on the top is your unlock and um, button. Get the Apple logo and the iPod um, symbol or words, iPod stuff like that. Um, that's it for build quality. Is really on here is your. Uh, 1.2 front-facing megapixel camera 1.2 megapixel camera 
Let me get your home button. And let's let's get into some gaming. <laughs> get that there. Let's do another temple run. See that one more time. I am shooting this with my Galaxy S4. It should have ten, uh, good video quality once I put this in. Oh yeah, and also the uh, speakers and everything is on the bottom. Oh yeah, and there's US. Not you, sorry, but it's a USB port, but your um, lightning pin and your uh, 3.5 meg, uh, sorry, why did I say megapixel? 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and your speakers. Um, personal preference. Again, well built, good for just traveling. If you want to listen to music or. You already have a cell phone, but it's not really good. And if you want something cheaper than a cell phone, the iPod 5th generation is really good. Or you guys can get something cheaper and get the iPod 4th generation, but the iPod 5th generation is worth its money. And it also has Siri. Let's demonstrate that really fast. Oh, and also, this is also running iOS. Seven. Hello, Siri. Give a second to load. I'm really sorry about this. But I can't take any requests right now. Please try again in a little while. Probably the internet connection. And also, about iOS 7, they really did something different. I think they took um, some Android ideas. So that is the review of the Apple iPod 5th Gen. See you guys in the next video. This is Geek Androids signing out. Deuces.